Hello all! This is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Marjena. Today, let me present you some of the best aqua aerobic exercise blended together into a full hour water workout for all levels. Yes! For just a quick recap of all these moves, check the video attached at the end of this workout. If you last till the end, you will also learn five bonus exercises that I added only for those real challenge seekers. I know you there! Today, let's use aqua dumbbells and web gloves. But as always, I want to remind you that these are absolutely optional. I assure you, you will enjoy this exercise selection. So go ahead and like this video blindly. Oh! Want to know the optimal way to enjoy and benefit from my workouts? Follow me, come on! Splash by into the pool and see how great it is to watch those workouts and do those at the same time. Get your aqua gear ready, purchase a three pad for your device, check your internet connection, choose any of the hundreds of aqua routines already available for my subscribers in this channel. And maybe consider using waterproof air plugs as long as you want to hear my instructions if not just enjoy your own music and have a lot of fun I love water. I love the sound of it. And I love being near the water. Or on the water. But most of all, I enjoy being in the water and working out. And convincing you to work out with me. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook. Are you ready for another great workout? I hope so. All right, guys, so Let's aqua warm up is linked to the video. And I'm gonna move on to the first exercise front and side kick mix. So we're gonna actually blend those two and kick forward and into the side with the same leg without touching the ground for 90 seconds. We want this jump to be challenging. Look, I am using web gloves. If you want to purchase those, check the description of the video. I'm going to link the store where I bought mine and they're very inexpensive and you already know I love those. Now here I want you to notice that one foot is pretty much grounded on the bottom of the pool. The other one is not allowed to touch it. So you're going to kick forward and to the side. And you can kick all the way up if you want to use those core muscles. Use your arms in any possible way to make your kicks better and faster. Lots of those exercises are pretty intensive, okay? Obviously, you have option to slow it down if you are a beginner, but if you wanna take it to the next level, push it a little bit harder, and you can do it, one, using gloves, two, adding a little better tempo. Make sure you stay nice and tall with your shoulders back and away from ears. Beautiful position, really, really matters. All right, the other leg. All right, so guys, this is a great exercise to show off your new aqua shoes <laughs> to your friends if you work out with someone. Or if you don't use shoes for your aqua aerobics, maybe your pedicure. Yep, so if you have a company in a pool, this is it. This is where everyone should notice. <laughs> Try play with the same tempo. 
pretty fast, pretty challenging, super, super for those abs. And again, we're gonna enjoy it for about 90 seconds. Halfway through, you wanna check on your form once again and make sure those shoulders are not rounded. Move them back and away from ears. Lift up your chest. Breathe nicely. Inhale into the nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Come on, exhale loud enough so you can hear yourself. Check on your friends. If they are breathing, if you see the lips are closed, well, you or someone is not breathing right super important guys that we pay attention to that keep going couple more kicks and take a deep breath into the nose relax a little bit we're gonna move on to the next exercise number two we're gonna move sideways and we're gonna push dumbbell away so go ahead grab aqua dumbbells real quick and now I obviously want to stay right here where the camera can see me. But if you guys have more space, go ahead and enjoy it. We're going to enjoy this exercise for a while, for like a three minutes a while. So you can go all the way to the other side of the pool with one dumbbell being pushed away. Push and pull, push and pull, just like this. Look, those feet are open. I'm curling my knees up. Look how fast I go. Yep, you can definitely do the same thing with your other arm as long as you can maintain pretty good tempo, right? So if you need to prioritize and focus on just one side, that's fine. Just keep the other dumbbell on the water or in the water. If you can do both, oh boy, you are gonna really feel it. So keep on going. Now the funny way you can also in enjoy this exercise if you have somebody else doing a workout with you you guys can kind of switch spots right so you can you're gonna go away to one side of the pool and then you're gonna switch and this way you're gonna make it very interesting so give it a try you can obviously move backwards as well right so still moving sideways and also backwards and forward with a little bit of that zigzag motion Anytime you start moving backward, forward, or around, you guys do create even more resistance. So if you have some space, definitely take the opportunity. Pay attention to your feet. Make sure they really are bouncing up and down. Knees are moving up and down. But look, we are not necessarily bouncing, right? We really want to use that water resistance instead of gravity. I'm working out today at the chest water level and I find this perfect. You can go a little deeper than that. You can be at the waist level if you want, but definitely not more than shoulder depth, all right? That would be too much. For many of the exercise, you would basically start floating. Oh, there's a few floating exercise, which actually you would enjoy in a deeper end, but that's it. Keep going, keep going. And don't you feel so sorry for yourself, guys. Really feel burn in those arms. If you see dumbbells in the description of the video, you better get ready for those muscles to be sore next day. Come on. Keep going, same tempo. I will be showing you some exercise in a slow motion just so you can pay attention to all the details where you guys are moving three times as fast as I am now, right? Let's go, let's go. Keep the heart rate up. Final seconds here. Got it. Number three is a little more floaty. Yeah, why not? We're gonna do flatter kicks. We are floating on our back with arms open and those dumbbells are keeping us on the surface for two minutes. We are knees slightly bent, I would say soft with toes pointed and we're gonna splash as hard as we can. So if you guys see the little fountains that you create, 
that's good now you will be moving around the pool with this exercise that's natural and for me it means that I have to uh, stop every now and then and come back to you know where the camera is but you feel free to move away again you have two minutes for this one so whatever this exercise take you just enjoy it just accept that <laughs> Don't go too easy though, right? It is pretty, pretty easy to just forget that it's a workout. You're gonna feel like, oh, it's a vacation or whatever. Well, my voice is here to remind you, maybe it is vacation, but this is also your workout. So start kicking a little bit harder. Come on, kick, 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 kick. Nice, beautiful splash going on all the time. And once you feel those legs just can't do it anymore, that's okay. Take a few seconds break. And then back to work. Come on. Notice I'm not bending my knees too much. Toes are pointed. I want you to kick so hard that your shoes fall off. Keep going, keep going. Keep those abs working, right? We may feel it's all legs, but you know, you guys feel it's abs, right? I know you do. There's a couple floating exercise in today's uh, selection of my favorite exercise. So, oh boy, we're gonna float, float, float. All right, moving on, number three, skip B and we're gonna move arms out and in. Now we can either use gloves or dumbbells here. Yep, you decide. For three minutes, you're gonna open up those arms close. With dumbbells, I choose to have horizontal position. Dumbbells are pretty much just below the surface, like so. With gloves, you also want to extend your arms forward and then out to the side, but you can turn your palms around so you can keep them facing each other going in and turning them out as you splash it out. Yes, water is being splashed with this exercise. I need you to splash so hard that people who can see you are afraid to approach you. Can you do it? Come on. I know you can. So what are you waiting for? Come on, guys. Add the missing 10% of your energy. Don't hold it for later. We want to begin with all we got and then we see how long it's going to last. <laughs> Look, I'm bending my knees now, kicking, boom, boom. Yes, modify this one if you need to and just curl one leg back at a time. If you want to avoid jumping or maybe your knees bother you for any reason, choose the low impact version and don't feel bad about it you're still doing amazing guys those water exercise are supposed to be for everyone we just have to be open-minded and find out what works for us and what else we have to maybe you know modify choose something else but other than this it can be for kids it can be for adults for seniors for for someone who just started for someone extremely advanced it's all up to you how this workout eventually gonna actually be right this one definitely is for all levels keep dragging those weights out and in what are you taking it easier now don't even tell me come on come on do it do it do it Repeat the same R moves for all three minutes. Get those back and chest muscles exhausted. So I need you to work so hard that if you even think about this exercise tomorrow, you're gonna be like, oh no, that's not possible. <laughs> that means you did enough today. Keep going. Number six, water angel. Legs will be moving out and in and we are floating for three minutes. Yeah, you probably have done angel, snow angel many, many times, 
Well, this one is water angel. It's even better. This one is the one that we do in a summer, practicing for winter. Out and in. I like my feet to be flexed with this exercise. And I want to feel that it's a slow and controlled tempo going each way, out and in. Always pushing those legs through the resistance. Too slow may feel good and relaxing, but that's not why we're here doing it, right? You want to target those out thighs and inner thighs, so let's go against that flow. If you are not doing this at the full range of motion, you're missing out. Try your best to really open up those legs and don't bend at your knees. Keep your upper body stable, arms engaged, core engaged. If you would be sinking for any reason, then I have two suggestions for you. You can use bigger dumbbells if they're available, or even you can put your back on the noodle, or use aqua belt, right? So many, many versions to really benefit and enjoy this exercise more. Every now and then, I actually like to reset my position, so jump down and then start over. We got plenty of time, hopefully plenty of space to float and maybe move around. Sometimes you're gonna move backwards, sometimes you're gonna move forward, and what that means is that either the motion out or in is your favorite one. If you are really doing both out and in moves at the same strength, you're pretty much gonna stay on the same spot at least most of the time. What would be another version of this exercise? We guys could do it standing down and just move one leg out to the side at a time. So if you work out with someone who maybe really, really struggles and eventually gets so, so annoyed that is ready to quit, give them that option and that should work. It's gonna work the same muscles, but you are not floating, right? So you take it a little bit easier and that's okay. Maybe you need more time and you'll join us doing this particular version a little bit later, no problem. All right, number seven. We're gonna now move to the left side. It's cross and right side kick. So it's combination again. Notice this cross has a long way to go, right? See, I need you to imagine there's something that you wanna punch and then kick at the same level, right? So you kick all the way up. You got three minutes, game on guys. This one is a tough exercise and you know what? I actually picked my absolute favorite and decided to keep you doing them a little bit longer because they that good. Here, it's up to you. I mean, if you're gonna just do it halfway, then you're only taking half of what this exercise can offer. If you're gonna do your best, you take most out of it, and that's how I need you guys to feel. Fight. Are you a fighter? Come on. Imagine something that motivates you. What is it? Why are you here so often in a water to work out? Do you love it? Is this because you know how good aqua exercise is for you? There must be the reason. Keep that in mind and do your best. For me, it's my big appreciation to being healthy. Once we lose our health or even a small, small segment of it, we guys only then we realize how amazing it is when you wake up every day without pain, without any limitations. That what keeps me going. I want to be like this forever or as long as possible. That's my goal. I always want to be able to travel, get to the most beautiful places on earth quite often. Taxi won't take you there. You have to climb, you have to swim there, right? You got to be active. 
I always want to be able to spend good quality and active time with my son. This keeps me going. I love being outdoors, long walks, swim in a beautiful seas or lakes. This keeps me going. What is it for you? Come on, guys. You still have time to answer yourself those questions. Give yourself three answers. Why? Come on, I know you can come up with more than three, but today I want you envision and remember those three and fight for it. Now, every day, every week, as long as you can. I'm doing my best. How about you? Huh? If you guys are working out with somebody else, you can sh you guys can share those great goals of yours. Maybe they're gonna merge. Maybe we got the same goal that your workout partner. That would be cool. All right, we're gonna switch side now and do exactly the same. Do you guys know what that means? I need you to come up with three other reasons why what are you keeping in your mind what wakes you up every morning and drags you to the pool I know sometimes you get those days when you're not that excited to be here do you I do rarely but I do maybe it's not a little maybe it's a little cold maybe I just feel lazy well I still get up and come every single day for those reasons keep going we still have way more time you can say them out loud remember they will change over time right as we grow as we change our goals are changing too there's always something so you guys can definitely add one extra punch forward here as you see me doing now but this is optional okay I don't want that front punch to take too much of your attention I really need you to be focused on cross and kick and then if you want to add one that third punch go for it but if it's too much going on skip it And you know, guys, one more thing that keeps me going, since I have a little more time, we're still going to do this side. It's a freedom. I feel freedom when I can exercise. I feel free. When the pools were closed for a little bit because of, you know what, it was not good. <laughs> So that made me appreciate, you know, public swimming pools and my favorite places so much more. Seeing other people getting their goals, enjoying their little workouts, meeting people, that's precious. And it's funny how we can appreciate all this when we lose it for even a little bit. Oh, I hope it won't happen again. <laughs> If you guys are so lucky to have your own pools, you probably didn't, you know, had that experience. But I'm telling you, it's not so good when your favorite beach is closed and your swimming pool and your club. No! Well, it's open now. That's why we're here. That's why we are trying to make up all the lost workouts, right? Maybe we got a few extra pounds over the whole... Uh, not doing too much time well this is a perfect workout to get that goal done by the way keep on going keep pushing fight 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 lots of time for this exercise because it's so good
Come on, guys, finish up in style. The last one. Do it, do it, do it. Fight. Push through. Exhale out. Yes. Keep on going. Great tempo. Great energy. Still coming from inside out. That's what kickboxing moves like this one are about. You really have to find that energy in your body and use it. We can really do exactly the same kick and the same punches and feel nothing. Or we can feel exhausted after each and every set. And that's exactly what's planned for this particular segment. Finishing up, you guys. Come on. Exhale out through your mouth. Inhale into the nose. Be tough. And jog it out. Number eight, we got floating push-ups. And floating or not. Look, I'm kind of floating here with my tippy toes touching the ground. I actually like this version better where one leg is extended. So, yeah, I am not exactly floating. And I'm trying to push those dumbbells down and up pretty quickly, straight line down. Every now and then, again, if you're gonna jump down, reset, or switch legs, that's fine. Notice that our body is in that uh, position. It stays aligned, but it goes a little bit across, right? Like so. There we go. Belly in, glutes engaged. You can definitely float better if you have like aqua belt, or maybe if you wanna put your feet on the side of the pool, right? That would be like pretty challenging, but definitely possible. Keep pushing dumbbells down directly to the bottom of the pool. And then pull those elbows back. Kind of like you try to pinch them to the surface of the water. Number nine is gonna be jumpy again. Power jumps, all right? So here, the goal is to really move belly button or even hip bones above the surface. Now, I decided to do those right after push-ups because for those of you who cannot jump, I need you to continue your push-ups. Yay! One or another, right? The movement definitely looks familiar, but if you choose to jump, you are moving your heart rate up so, so, so much higher. So keep on going. Press and jump. And then remember, even if impact in the water is so minimum, still, you wanna make sure that you are absorbing impact the right way. So as you move up, you are pointing your toes and then toes will touch the bottom of the pool first. Then you're gonna slowly roll your heel down. If you want, you can move forward and backwards. You can turn around, right? If all of this is not distracting you from doing your best, do it. If you work out with somebody else, you guys can kind of alternate. One person moves up, the other one down. We got three minutes for this game. Smile, scream, and have a lot of fun. Let's do it. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my face. I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I've lost I was down but things are looking up I wanna get high surprised by you want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I want to get high on you caught by surprise by you 
All right, that was the last one, and we are ready for the next exercise, which is roll over number 10. So again, let's float. Let's try our best not to touch the bottom of the pool, unless you have to for a little bit. Other than this, you guys have two options for your arm moves. You can drag those arms out to the side and then out to the side on your way forward, or you can drag them down, which is a little more challenge for your upper body. Imagine you have two walls, one in front of you, one behind, and you wanna kick with your heels each of those. You actually can do it against the wall and actually push your feet to the wall if that's your option. Well, I decided to just float around today and have fun with it. Guys, one of the most challenging exercise for abs. How about that? Yep. Every now and then, I always stop quickly and just take a moment to reset my position, kind of catch a breath, and then do more of those great kicks. You will see me switching arm positions once I go to the side, then I go forward, and I just go with the flow. Excuse me, against the flow. Front kick will always be higher than the back kicks. We got two minutes to enjoy it. If you do it along with someone else, you guys can be pushing your feet to each other like this. How cool is that? Now you do have to switch those two positions pretty quickly because if you're gonna take too long, you will start sinking. So just keep that in mind. It's also the same rule that for other floating exercise. So the bigger your dumbbells, the easier it is for you to float. If it's too hard, try same leg kick forward and back or use aqua belt. With aqua belt, you guys are gonna make all the floating stuff so much easier even if you cannot swim. Trust me, I've seen it happening many, many times. Number 11, cross-country skiing with knee tucks. Another exercise, great for abs. Notice I'm pushing right leg and then the opposite dumbbell forward. I'm not jumping up and down. I move my feet and my knees up off the surface. We got three minutes for this one, so you guys have so much time to have fun with it. If you have not seen my video where I show you 50, I'll say that again, 50 different ways to do cross-country skiing, make sure you check my playlist. It's in the education videos. Yep, there are 50 ways. I couldn't sleep once and I came up with that many. So, well, that's one of the most basic, but also, you know, pretty cool one. We are just punching dumbbells forward, that's all, and tucking these up and down. And it's very beneficial. Works your bicep and tricep and your legs, and as like said, lower part of abs. And it is pretty intensive, so in addition to that, it's working your heart, which is also a muscle. And I'll tell you, pretty important one. Cross-country skiing is an exercise that we could be doing forever, right? Say yes if you agree. Come on, admit it. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty favorite exercise to many, many of aqua people. Every now and then when you lose track or you're just not sure if your form looks great, Please stop for a little bit, shake those shoulders and try again. Sometimes you're gonna end it up a little confused and you're gonna notice that you push your right foot and the right hand forward. That will eventually make you lean a little bit forward or to the side. We don't wanna do it, so I need you to reset. If you look around and you see somebody else doing this mistake, please kindly let them know to fix it. Kindly. Dumbbells are in a vertical position most of the time. Imagine there's a wall in front of you and another behind you. 
and you're just pushing both to each wall at a time. Lift up your chest, don't lean forward, do not rotate, and don't forget to have fun. Are you smiling? Come on, make sure you are. That's gonna challenge those facial muscles. No, don't be afraid you're gonna get wrinkles, come on. We get very cute wrinkles if we smile a lot, right? It's better to have those than worry wrinkles. Smile, 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 they cute. You cute, keep going. all right moving on again that's our next exercise zigzag and this is number 12 so we guys rock let's push those feet to the side on your extra curl your knees towards yourself and then switch side three minutes to enjoy this one now for those of you who again are not so great at floating just try to kick to one side jump down and then kick to the other side see how that goes first once you have that covered put together right and left side then jump down and eventually see if you can do few reps without stopping this one is great for your obliques and lower part of the abs so you may expect to see six pack right after we finish three minutes worth it hello let's do it and then make sure you check that six pack. <laughs> Keep your arms open. Try to stabilize your upper body position. Breathe through this one. So I hope you're having fun with your zigzag because we are almost done and I hate to interrupt you but we're gonna move on to number 13 and this one is quite challenging we're gonna move on to skip C hello gorgeous legs it may remind you swing kicks but instead 
head, you're gonna try to keep your leg extended, where with swing kicks, you are actually bending your knee slightly and then you kick it up. Well, here it's hipsy, so those legs are straight. If you can coordinate pretty tough arm moves, go for it. If not, prioritize what's happening below the water, all right? Yeah, so you continue strengthening your core, definitely your legs. Shake your head a little bit and go for it. Well, you guys gonna enjoy this exercise for three minutes. So you know what? Lots of time to turn around, switch spots with someone and just do the best we can. Now, maybe you remember me saying that if you can do your best just for 10 seconds, then go a little bit easier and then do it again. That's the way to do it. Three minutes is a long time to be extremely challenged many, many times over. Could we do 100% for entire 30 min three minutes? No, we can't. So we'll have to choose how long we can and just benefit from those shorter intervals. I don't want you to stay on the same spot forever. Keep moving a little bit forward, a little bit back, maybe around. This exercise reminds me gymnastics lessons. Yeah, I've done those. And guess what? This is so much better in the water. I promise. If you miss those, just trust me. It's better in the water. <laughs> in this particular video, I decided to show off my new sunglasses, which you won't believe were $4.99, yes, super cheap, and I love them. I bought two pairs just because I know I need them last me forever. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on, number 14, tricep kickback, what? Yes, a little more stable exercise, well-deserved lunge position, core engage, and you're gonna keep those elbows locked next to your ribs, and you'll be pushing those dumbbells back and forward. And guess what? You're gonna finally feel burn at the back of your arms, and this is exactly what Dr. Morzina prescribed. Tricep on fire, let's do it. Right here. Don't let those dumbbells to float and bounce anywhere off to the side. Uh-oh, stay in line. This is good for you. This is definitely dedicated to everyone who's complaining about flabby arms and maybe muscles are not very firm back there. Well, this one is your medicine and it's easy to swallow. You just have to do it once a day for two minutes. Yeah, good prescription. Keep on going. Make sure you keep those wrists neutral. And just imagine there's maybe a wall behind you and you are pushing dumbbells back to the wall and then you slowly come back to your starting point. Just like me. Yes, you guys, we're gonna keep pushing, keep squeezing, keep scalping those arms, shaking gorgeous muscles. We already have six pack. Yeah, I know we do. So right now, let's move on to that tricep area. Here we go, squeeze it. Remember, burn means you're doing something right. Keep on going. Even better if we feel a little bit of soreness every now and then. Feel free to switch leg like I just did right here. And again, keep that position stable, core engaged, chest lifted, shoulders needs to be back, rolled back and away from those ears. Long neck. 
long giraffe's leg, neck, <laughs> and legs, maybe two. All right, awesome. Time for a little bit more jumps. So we're gonna now do the ballet jumps up and down or out and in, just like that. Notice I'm still making sure this impact is absorbed right. So I'm pointing my toes and I'm making sure toes are touching the bottom of the pool first. You're gonna keep dumbbells in the water. That is also absorbing that impact, right? It is very little, let's be honest, in the water, but it's something. For those of you who need to modify, do you know what you do? You're just gonna tuck your knees up. So you're gonna do knee tucks, jumps. You can also start moving your arms a little bit more out and in. Keeping those knees slightly bent, belly in, chest up. Can you move backwards or forward with this exercise? You absolutely can. You can turn around. You can have fun with it. We got lots of time, you guys. 90 seconds time, enough? Enough to smile and love it. Yeah, let's do it just like that. If you are lucky to exercise outdoors today, like I am, you're gonna get a nice tan. The higher you jump, the better your tan will be. You know, it's funny when I teach classes outside, I make sure that my students get an even tan. So we do turn around, move around as often as I remember. <laughs> All right, number nine, 16, donkey kicks. All right, so now you'll be pushing dumbbells forward and kicking both legs back at the same time. Because I want you to be super careful with this exercise. Do not over arch your lumbar spine. So your kicks will be pretty low and you need to coordinate your arm and your leg move. You also need to make sure you are not jumping up first because if you're gonna jump up, everything, each part of your body that's above the water gets heavy and it's gonna, you're gonna start sinking down, all right? So you need to kind of keep your body at the same level in the water. Imagine there are two walls, one in front of you, one behind you. You wanna keep that back wall somewhere closer to the bottom and that front wall at your shoulders or chest level. You also want to make sure your belly stays in, your core is engaged, and like I said, don't over arch your lumbar spine, don't put too much pressure there. If you would feel like it's happening no matter how hard you try, how about if you just push your dumbbells forward and kick one leg back at the same time? Because guys, we have three minutes for this exercise and if you do it wrong, you will be doing it wrong for three minutes. I don't want you to do it. If you feel there's something off, probably it is. Then you're gonna switch to the modification, one leg kick back at a time. One leg donkey, yeah, that's the name. Love it. Make sure you keep those wrists neutral. Another modification you could try, you may be putting dumbbells away and just kicking back one leg at a time. So easy, easy guys. There's always something for all of us. No matter how fit you are, no matter if you know how to swim or how comfortable you are in the water. And I know you guys are working together in those gorgeous amazing groups that you created i love you guys i love getting your messages and i you know i'm there with you you hear my voice you can see me i cannot see you but i know you there and i love what you're doing so that's why i try to give you so many options because i know everyone is different and maybe you can recommend someone who's next to you how to modify also if you guys see someone is making those tiny mistakes hey let them know i hope you guys are not gonna feel offended by that we are all together in this we try to do something amazing for our body 
and don't feel offended if somebody gives you some tips hey I bet it's a great thought behind that you can even actually encourage comments and feedback about your form about your progress don't be shy ask your friend who sees you working out maybe you're gonna learn something all right guys moving on oh my goodness we're getting closer to an end so i have a lot of amazing moves left number 18 aqua sprint circles in and out you know i feel like i'm cooking yeah i have a big bowl of soup and i'm mixing it out and in love it keep on going out and in i'm making some polish soup i won't tell you which one but it's good and we have to move those arms pretty fast let's do it let me know in the comments what you are cooking what's your imagination telling you <laughs> it's probably tell me it's probably gonna tell me a lot about where are you from i would love to hear that comment and i'll guess where are you from that's an awesome game let's have fun with it Woohoo! huge range of motion open up those arms mix it up mix it up very very fast legs let's really do our best curling those knees up and down up and down way 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 faster than you are doing it now come on guys i see you can do better than this 90 seconds come on that's all i'm asking 90 seconds do it for me please i only need you to leave a little bit of energy left just enough to like the video at the end that's all after that you can nap for the rest of the day <laughs> try your best to keep those dumbbells in a vertical position yeah they will be floating out a little bit well don't let them do it remember you're mixing a big bowl of soup it's usually done in a vertical position keep on going keep on going final seconds moving the heart rate up feel how powerful your body is guys we've been doing this workout for a long time we still can 19 hip twist oh la la who wants nice waist well there's a bunch of important muscles around our spine that we're gonna now challenge for the next three minutes but i want to tell you something guys if you know you have maybe some spinal issues or maybe you have some back pain as you are doing those exercises go a little bit easier even completely skip this exercise because it may not be so great if you suffer from any of those today or on a regular basis other than this with healthy spine healthy body well this is an awesome exercise okay instead what can you do you can walk around the pool and check how everyone else is twisting uh-huh You could also try to do ski jumps instead, okay? Ski jumps is a little softer version of this exercise. Let's keep those dumbbells on the water, shake it a little bit, feeling like two liters. Woohoo! Yeah, let's twist and shout. Add a little volume to this exercise. Yeah! I hope you're enjoying music today. Guys, I'm really trying my best to pick some great, great songs from non-copyright music. I know it would be cool to listen to maybe more up-to-date songs, but you know what? These are not bad at all, and I'm trying to like them more and more. So, hey, there must be a music with Aqua Class, right?
All right, guys, final twist and moving on to the next exercise. You may be thinking we about to slow down, but no, sorry, not yet. Now, this one is pretty challenging, actually. We're gonna do lat pull down with aqua jacks. And combining those two moves will create so much resistance. You're gonna feel your core, your chest, your arms, your inner thighs, your out thighs. Oh boy, we are working hard till the end. Find a good rhythm, find a great tempo where you can really drag those dumbbells down and benefit from it as much as possible. Keep going, we got lots of reps. If you wanna go really, really hard for a few seconds and then jog it out and then keep going, do so. Notice we wanna keep feet close to the bottom of the pool, right? So no knee tucking here. We've done that already many, many times today. To go a little bit easier, you can start pushing dumbbells forward and back towards yourself, right? Lat pull down is quite challenging and sometimes it could be impossible to do it for that, for such a long time, all right? So you know the options. I'm gonna get a little closer here so you can see everything, okay? So one more time, push forward and back or lat pull down. With lat pull down, your dumbbells will end it up a little bit deeper right you're gonna drag them deeper below the surface and push them towards your hips both of those versions are correct and both have lots of benefits All right, guys, now these next exercise are optional. You can choose to now just cool down. I'm gonna link the video that I recommend. Well, I'm choosing to keep on going, so I'm putting my aqua gloves on and hopefully I'll convince you to do just a few more exercise. These are pretty quick, okay? Jog it out and just keep back, right? So you're gonna curl your heels back and you're gonna move your arms out and in. I think it's a great alternative now because we're gonna move those wrists around, right? Holding dumbbells, sometimes those wrists may feel a little uncomfortable, right? So, well, here we can not only do the head room massage, but really just give those arms a little bit of break. So if you feel like you still wanna go hard, just splash this water out and in, kind of draw figure eight below the surface, but feel free to go a little bit easier at this point as well, okay? So the next few exercises, you guys are deciding. I go easy, oh, I keep pushing myself. And whichever you choose, it's gonna be a great decision because you guys already done so much. I am so proud of you. If there's someone next to you, make sure you give them high five. Come on, do it. High five in the house. Yeah. Roundhouse kicks is another exercise and these are super dynamic. So let's again go a little bit easier on arms and just repeat those kicks. Many, 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 many of those on each side. Kick with your toes pointed and make sure you cross your feet behind after. Keep on going. Imagine there's something in front of you that you will be kicking with where normally your shoelaces would be. I mean, maybe you have aqua shoes with shoelaces, then absolutely. Keep on going, keep on going. It's fast, it's dynamic. And march that out, switch side. So if you guys already are cooling down and choose to go a little bit slower now, that's fine. You continue the same exercise, you just go a little bit easier. These really are the last moments of the workout. And then I'm gonna link that cool down that I promised, okay? If you guys completed all of those exercise plus bonus, let me know in the comments. I need to know how many of you could do all of it at once. 
And if not, don't worry. You're gonna try again, and then you're gonna let me know. Nice job. What's next? Power wave. So it's time for upper body lunge position. Very, very stable. And we're gonna push this water back and forward, flipping our palms back and forward. Now, obviously with webbed gloves, you're working way, 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 way harder. So if you guys wanna experience that, make sure you check the link in the description and get those gloves. At the time of making this video, they are around 12 bucks. 12 bucks is nothing for the amount of challenge and strength and power that those innocent looking little gloves can bring to your daily routines. And there are two types. One is made from silicone, that's the wire that I'm wearing. I like them a lot because they're very, very quick to dry. But there are other types made of fabrics and I will also link the description of those, okay? Because for some of you, putting these on may be a little uncomfortable and I get that. Just choose what's best for you. Switch leg like again and keep going like nothing happened. <laughs> We're not there yet, but we're very, very close. And those last minutes are precious. Hey, so the cool down that I'm gonna link is actually on the side of the pool. And I know you guys are gonna like it and it's very relaxing. Especially again, for those of you who work out outdoors, you'll be able to suck a little bit more of this vitamin D before you go home. And that will also convince you maybe to try a couple more on the mat exercise. Hey, let me know what you think about those. I really would love to know your feedback. Breathe, inhale and exhale. Maybe you wanna go really, really slow and gently at this point, that's fine, remember. There's nothing wrong with going easier. Kicks around the world is another exercise that you can choose to go fast or slow with. Front kick, back kick, and side kick. Switch leg. Front kick, back kick, side kick, switch legs. Allow those muscles and those legs to shake a little bit with this one, okay? It's a good massage. Really good. Definitely go easier on your hands now. I actually decided to put my gloves off if you still have them. No worries, just go a little bit easier, right? We have option to push the water around or not so much. So it's all up to you. yourself with something great like this great stretch and relax workout okay but maybe something else maybe something delicious and healthy yeah sounds like a plan do it guys thanks so much for splashing by and i will see you next time bye now <laughs>